Uh, we're going to go around the table. I'm <clears throat> Dave Wildson, Game Master for our game. Uh, and <clears throat> we play on Wednesday nights. We generally play about three episodes per night. On my left is... I'm Glenn LaValle. I play Raven Alexium. I'm a wizard. I'm Mary, oh, sorry, Amanda, and I'm Josephine Smith, and don't fucking mess with me. We, we can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with Josephine Smith. My name is Janice, and I play the part of Lavinia Rose, our fortune teller, healer, and not so much healer for undead. And I am Rob Woodbury. I play Percival Redfeather, and I am also... A uh, weird tiger, so beware the weird tiger. That's right. I'm Ian Little, and I play the part of Thaddeus Poindexter. Who is a... Oh, I do a lot of things. <laughs> he's, a, he's a sneaky con man rogue How dare type. you, sir? How dare you, know. you? He's also our general physician and That's uh, true. locksmith. That's so. true. The, the he's always torn hands. between bandaging somebody and stabbing them. He always has a hard <laughs> decide which way to go. Life is full of difficult choices. Yes. Okay. So we were at the point where you just uh, defeated a great big undead mammoth that had thundered into this uh, clearing in the burned out forest that you have. This is the southern part of the Fey Forest that has burned out and been caught on fire. Um, what do you wish to do? I'm going to turn your little... Check the body little, of the mammoth to see if there's anything worthwhile. Little, uh, rescued fairy is I was laying say, in the dirt. I would personally like to check on her. Oh, yeah, let's check saying. on the fairy, yeah. <laughs> okay, as you examine... Who's going to examine this mammoth? Well, well I'm, I'm already there Raven to take will. some tissue samples. Okay, so how close are you getting to take those tissue samples? Oh, I'm doing it very carefully. All right. Not uh, actually making contact with any part of it. As it lays there. How do you take tissue, contact, uh, tissue samples without making contact? I have my gloves and vial. And daggers. <clears throat> and various medical equipment for scooping. Okay. And a 10-foot pole. <laughs> One of the things is that there and is just this horrible, well. odious smell that just seems to just permeate the air around this now burning and smoldering dead mammoth. So everybody that's within 20 feet of it, and I will tell you how far 20 feet is. We'll just go to one of the edges of it for 20 feet, by the way. That's everybody in the party has to roll a fortitude check. Well, I'm just out of it. And I get, I'm upgraded in my fortitude, aren't I? What? With my level five, my fortitude has been bumped up. I haven't had a chance to adjust it yet. But. Yeah, but okay, you're you're doing a fortitude save right now, right? Yeah. Everybody, you too. I'm fortitude just on the edge, on the... like I'm outside what? of the circle, and so is. Um... Oh, you moved your body. Okay. Right. I'm way you over there. Guy. Remember, I I slid off and I ran with my zephyr. Righto. Okay. I got to move uh, Raven's uh, little thing right there you did too boy you guys are smart okay she's off over here i gotta remember to move these things and update them where they are compared to you what about the rest of you roll 17 you're good 19 okay 23 19 you're all good so you're able to withstand just the sickening stench that otherwise would have made you sick. what would have happened oh, it would have been sick, sick and started to feel ill and Medical when, school training. How I close? That all the time. I'm sure you okay, smelled so a lot you, of yucky things. Okay, so you've gotten things. all of the uh, dead flesh to use for trying to figure out a cure for ghoul fever. That's what you wanted it for, I assume. That is correct. Um, Raven, what do you want to do about trying to search this big, dead, stinking body? Well, I'll let Thaddeus do it because he's A, there, and B, he's got gloves on. Spoken like a true wizard, huh? I, I could use Mage Hand, I suppose. Yeah. Um, that's what I'll do, actually. I'll get um, a little closer. I'll get within 30 feet, and I'll cast uh, a cantrip Mage Hand to okay. um, search the uh, the dead creature without touching it myself. To scooch around, squelch around. All right. You find embedded deep in its uh rear flank 
uh, what looks like a up its butt. You mean off the side of its uh, leg, okay. on the side of its hip, you find embedded uh, almost right to the end of the shaft uh, a spear of some type. But you've only got about a foot of it sticking out. Well, I can't pull that out with my mage hand. You cannot. Why would you um, want to? It's a spear. Well, it could be the spear of Longinus. I, I cast um, Detect Magic on this spear. Uh, it appears that the spear has got something magical about it. Now that's, you want that's it. That's worth going Fine, for. Fine, I'll get us. So are you going to try and pull it out of there? Sure. Athletics check. I was going to say you probably need a, a, okay. a helping hand. Percy level strength or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do an aid to increase his, uh, his opportunity. As so a, Percy as will action. help you. Both of you will pull on him at the same time. Yeah, well, I rolled pretty high for the tolerance to the stench. So roll, roll for strength too, Percy. Okay. okay, my athletics, I've got a plus six. And this one, Acrobat, won't help you. It's straight strength. Seven. Six, seven, and? I was of no help whatsoever. <laughs> it is wedged. They are unable to pull it out. Apparently, the tip must be lodged in the bone quite a bit. What do you no, want to do about it? it? Is this a woman's work here? Give it a try. Is there something we can use to twerk it? Twerk we could, it? We could hack it out if we wanted. We're not twerking anything. Twerk. Oh, twerk it. <laughs> i love when she won't ever say anything because you know she rolled like a one or a two or a two okay. Yeah. yeah okay okay my turn Hang on. <laughs> lavinia yeah sure you'll have no problem <laughs> 12 plus whatever yeah doesn't work no sorry this is an athletics check it's an athletics check a strength check Okay, well, I've got a plus nine to athletics. Everyone else is wussed out, so I'm going to give it a shot. But I'm like the least strong character. Now, it was that's so ironic. Squishy, we can Let's do it. Squishy, Maybe it's like a jar lid and they loosened it for you. Uh, I did not pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> so the group has abysmally failed on their first attempt to remove the uh, spear from the body of the dead, smoldering, undead mammoth. What are they going to try next? Well, I'm going to search the other dead bodies because you've removed them from the board, but they're still there. Yes. I am going to approach the little woman over here and make sure she's still alive. Yep. It looks like she is still unconscious in a feverish, uh, almost like a coma. She's breathing very heavily. I need your your help, Thaddeus. Remember, it's only been like, you know, five minutes since... uh, yeah. yeah, the mammoth came thundering in. Here. You need to keep her cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking that um, I've got like, if, do we have any cloth we can uh, moisten and put on her? Yeah, to... I've got cloth. Yeah. I've got bandages. Yeah, so... let's let's um, let's let's get some cool cloths on her. Um, Lavidia, do you have um, uh, prestid- prestidigitation handy? No, no, I don't either. Um question though did you detect do a detect magic on her i haven't on her no as a fae i imagine she's magical by nature i'm just wondering if we could put some holy water on the cloth and put it on her and see couldn't hurt yeah holy water never hurts unless they're undead yeah it shouldn't hurt if it does hurt then we've got a problem Mm -hmm. so you put some holy water on you a cloth? Have, you have a cloth? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. We, we have her bunch. moistened with yeah. the damp cloth. Her skin cools a little bit. You don't see any other change. Cool cloth. She I'm is sorry. still unconscious and in a fever. Okay. Okay. So uh, checking the other bodies. Yep. As you uh, route through the other bodies, you find um, three muskets with bayonets on them they are all badly rusted and no longer operable oh, are these the the undead that we fought before the soldiering the, dead, okay. yeah you find uh, uh other than that tattered uniforms uh and you find some silver coins a couple of them still have silver coins in their pockets from earth 
Oh. Mm-hmm. So you find a couple of uh, quarters and uh, even one silver dollar. Mm, fancy. So apart from that, not Roman this time. Apart from that, you find one usable boot knife that is stuck in one of their leather boots still. And that is the only thing that is still usable on these burned out, uh, desiccated, undead soldier corpses. Now, if I can recall from last week, you were saying the only ones who can actually use weapons are us three. These guys can't use weapons, right? So a boot knife wouldn't be... They can use small weapons. They cannot use big martial weapons. Um, I don't know if I need it, to be honest. I think I have um, already uh, uh, something like that. In this case, remember, it is a bright iron boot knife. A bright iron boot knife. Right. It's mm-hmm. iron from earth, which means mm-hmm. that it is valuable in this world. And which okay. means that it does incredible damage. To- it does an extra D4 damage. The problem is nobody can handle it but you guys or other wilders, anybody who's native to era can't touch it. So that right. really limits your ability to trade it. I have a hatchet already and i can't carry very much stuff so i think i'm okay with what i've got but we can put it in the bag of holding a knife okay now now a little you, later on i'll check the uh, well you you've got all the stabby stabby fingers so that's true yeah you got stabby stabby you got fingers room in your stabby stabby fingers he's at Brick scissor hands one of the things that you <laughs> notice about when you fully check all of these soldiering dead and this is one of the first times you've had a chance to really check uh, these dead guys uh, is that uh, you notice that uh, four of them have got gray Confederate uniform, something you'd recognize anywhere. And two of them have got blue union uniforms. Apparently uh, they are a mix of the dead from both sides of the civil war. Mm, interesting. And I guess once you're dead, it doesn't, matter what well side apparently it doesn't matter to whoever is controlling him so uh what do you want to do about the spear all right was someone gonna chew it out or something like that no, i've always moved on hmm. i want it i'm gonna take my hatchet and i'm gonna hack it out oh you're gonna hack it's it out morbid That's i love right. it okay go ahead and swing careful. To chop it, you're going to need to roll uh, to see how well you chop. Oh, I've got I've got gloves in my medical kit. I rolled a 13, and this is an yes, athletics. The, the magic gloves. 13 and magic 9 gloves. is yep. 22. Yep. You end up uh, making a, a pretty good start on chopping it. You chop in about uh, two feet into the blubber. Yeah. Uh, some of it squirts up on you. Roll a fortitude check. Thing I do for treasure. Squishy, squishy. I rolled a 15 and my fortitude is plus 10. It's gross and it stinks, uh, but you don't feel Ill, any ill effects. The thing is still heavily wedged. <sighs> what do you want to do? Are you okay? You're going to throw up? I'm going to try to pull it out again. Okay. Being that it's now slightly yes. less embedded, I did not, I rolled a nat one. <laughs> oh no it's slippery and it's goopy you end up uh, funnier, yeah. slipping as you try and pull it out you fall and you backwards and you do two points of damage to yourself oh. i'm gonna try because you know i'm getting frustrated with these people all right it's now a very slippery oh. gooey thing 17 plus my strength which is 10 and so You feel it give a little bit. It doesn't come out all the way, but you feel it give and pull out about two inches. Okay. That's such a straight line. Well, it's better than what we did. I'm going to keep hacking at it. You want to try hacking again? Why not? Roll the hack. (sighs) What's the worst that can happen? I mean, uh, that, that, yeah. that is just oh. not a good question this, to ask. This time no. I Medically it. speaking. I rolled a two wow. that time. Wow. As the stuff... Sp- oh, that's your attack, right? That's a two plus, um, plus nine is 11. You just end up chopping into it with your axe and just making some mess. More stuff squirts out, but you don't end up making any more headway into the chopped up mammoth flesh, but you need to roll a fortitude check again. Oh, no. 
Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Uh, 17 plus 10. And once again, stuff, you know, you're now almost covered in this horrible this is so mammoth horrible. ichor that's rotting. And okay, um, it's going to get worse. You, you, uh, you're pretty ripe. You have got, you've taken on the smell of this mammoth yourself, but it doesn't seem to be bothering you or giving you any ill effects so far. Somehow, miraculously. So what's happening next? Well, I made some progress, so. All right, so Percy's going to try and give it another try. Two inches of I go over there and use my woman muscles, but I'm trying to attend to this dying berry over here while you guys are trying right, so to wrestle 20, a spear out of a What's elephant. that? 23. 23. You pull it loose. Okay. It eventually comes loose and slides out. Slorp! You know, it's something very unusual about the end of the spear. The end of the spear is actually almost like it was made from living wood. And coming out are two side branches besides the main end of the spear, which has flattened out and grown into what looks like a natural spearhead that's incredibly hard. There are two small side branches that have come out. And there are two smaller side spears beside it. So it's almost like three spears and the side the like the, the little triton? almost but triton. they're very small and they're very close to the shaft and those spearheads are very pointy narrow leaf shaped you can even see the decoration of veins as though they were leaves it's clearly elven in origin it's a barbie spear the barbs so uh, uh as far as magic goes um you're not able to identify you haven't seen anything like this before if you have somebody who's of elvish descent maybe they could tell you what it's about well don't we have an elvish descent among us somebody who's actually lived in this world of oh i see descent. not just a oh so we yes. gotta heal up our not yet you can't no 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 we gotta heal up our little friend in uh, the, the, i the, i would can we get this woman to safety? And well, I don't know where we're going yet. I know. Well, where where's the cleanest smelling air from here? Not me. Not <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I mean, away from fire into fresh air. I have been um, slowly moving towards this item here that appears to be a shed or, or a shack of some sort. Um, like the image <clears throat> that we saw last week and I'll, let me see if i can go find these for you it was under scenes. point to where that is for the audience's benefit yeah right there yeah. So you can see over that. there what is uh clearly some type of uh burned down shack or something like that i think it's actually in the forest that we had these wasn't it yes it was that's the case <laughs> <laughs> So I'll put it, uh, it's up on the uh, adventure screen now. Here's the scene from the, that we uh, had where you discovered her last week. Mm -hmm. And what you're edging towards looks like it's some kind of, looks like it used to be a hollow tree. Oh, that's, that that's what this is? Has either naturally formed or perhaps carved windows in the trunk and was some type of home. It was a living tree that was somebody's home and is now a burned black charred husk. Do you want to continue? Of course I do. Let's explore. We need to investigate. Roll we're, we're to investigate. Yep. Well, we're not split. Are you guys group. moving over there? Together. You guys put yourselves on the main map you where you want to be. Together, Stay together, guys. Update your characters, and then I will move the tokens over so um, I keep it. Are we all going to the shed here? Yeah. Am I carrying her? Uh, yep. This is over there. What are we rolling for? What She's your it? charge, my friend. Uh, you're rolling to investigate. Is everybody going? The elephant's not going. The elephant's staying. Okay, well, I'm going to put you all over here in a big cluster. Those fairies really are very light. So an investigation, I don't see that as a as a skill. Well, just tell me what you got. 
I'll just well, pull it out of my roll, ass. Roll, and roll, I got a six, so I was hoping for some <laughs> kind of bonus. So well. Perception. You can use perception. Well, perception? Okay. Well, that's better. I got a... That would be um, 16. Okay. Anybody else? If we're doing perception, then I'll be at a 30. Ooh, that's pretty good. I rolled an 18 and I've got a cool. plus 12. 14. 22. 14. You uh, do not perceive anything outside, but there is clearly a small door about three feet high that enters into the trunk right at the ground level. The inside, uh, based on the size of the trunk, you'd guess that interior space is six feet or less. Uh, checking for traps around the door or other or things, and about a 26. Uh, you find no traps. If there were any, they would have been burned up, but yeah. there's no reason for a trap to be here, and there is no traps around that door. Doesn't hurt to check. So what do you think? I know I'm the smallest, but I'm also the one who doesn't like being underground. And I have this lovely lady balanced on my back. So I, I pass the buck to you. Oh, I'll, I'll go in there. Okay. You got to get on uh, down on all fours and crawl in there. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Get down on all fours and crawl in there. Very good. Um, that would be a 16. Well, as you go through the door, you realize that there's actually a small side passage that goes down into the ground under the tree. Oh. Once again, it's only, uh, again, about two and a half feet high. So you're going to have to be on all fours to crawl down into it. Are you willing to leave the group again? Do you want to go with them? Yeah, I'll go with them. So Lavinia gets all down on all fours in her rune dress and uh, I, crawls in I, after. I, I, You're ruining it. I take my rune dress and tie it up on uh, my back. Such so ruination. It enables me to be able to. Okay, so Lavinia goes sure. in as backup. Thaddeus, yep. you going to continue to move forward? Sure. Well, you know, I could hang on to the fairy queen and you could go in there. I'm too big. I I think she needs my attention. Oh really? Okay. Have I mentioned 30. I don't like being underground? Thirty. Thirty. As you uh, crawl down the passage, the passage goes down about eight feet and opens out into a slightly larger room. Clearly, whatever the living quarters were, these living quarters are just everything that's in them. Uh, most of it is there's not really furniture there. It's all quite natural, but. Uh, there's been a heavy, it's been filled with smoke. There's, there's a little bit of dusty air in it that's moved in and out through the passage since then. So you can breathe, but it's not that great. You're going to start to cough after about 30, 30 seconds. Uh, there's a lot of soot on the surfaces of everything. And in one corner, it looks like it's some kind of uh, wicker box. That's the only other thing you find in the room, a wicker box. Above the wicker box, it looks like what used to be a, a natural bed was hanging above it, almost like a, a big leaf pod that somebody was sleeping in at one point. What did you roll? I rolled a natural 20 plus 13 for a uh, thorough search. All right. Do you find no traps? You're able to uh, pull this little wicker box out. Uh, the lid is unlocked. And as you open up the wicker box... What do you find? Do, do, do. I'm going to see if I can generate. Okay, so the, obviously the macro is broken because it didn't give me anything. Damn it. Hey. Macro. Oh, level is zero. Okay, hold on. Let's try, let's try this. I need to give it more numbers. So we're all just crowded around this burned out stump waiting for two people to come back out, right? That is I am, correct. I am cradling 
my brethren in my lap while she's okay. Are you the sister? Yeah. Is, is there? I, yes, my sister. I am bemoaning my size because I am too big to fit. Is there any water or anything in the area? The only water is that, as it shows on the map, is some dirty, uh, filled with uh, ash water that is still left in the. Uh, we do have canteens. Deeper parts. All of us will have re refilled our canteens regularly without having been okay. reminded well, to do it. I'm, I'm wishing to bathe a little, so the oh. dirty water's got to be better than what I'm wearing. Well, it, Just it, splash um, it off. Something of I might not learn you of is basic chemistry: is if you expose water to mm -hmm. ash, it becomes severely basic. Mm -hmm. mm. So you're suggesting I don't do that? I'm suggesting you may not. Want well, he needs some fat to neutralize it. Yeah, well, maybe I have an acid splash I can uh, use. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I'm kidding. I would oh, mess this up. Well, if you if you pour the acid into the water and it foams up like mad, you know that you've got a basic acid reaction going on. Well, I don't have anything that would make myself less disgusting, so I'll just suffer. Okay. Would you like a gardenia? There we sir? go. A what? A gardenia. A flower? Yes. Where did you get that? I don't know. I just have it. Would you like it? <laughs> do, you, do you have a wash basin? No, no. Just, carrying just magical smear things? this on yourself, please. No, please, it's, it's please not, smear the gardenia on yourself. Not manly enough. I don't want to smell like it. a well, gardenia. Well, when you combine it with the smell that you've got, it, it will be manly enough. No, no. It could be musk. Give me sandalwood. The, the natural musk. Here are the yeah. things that you find. You find a small silver hand mirror. Oh. And it looks like it's part of a set because coming along with it is a little silver comb with an ornate handle. And when I say small, I mean they're a little bit bigger than Barbie sized. Aww. There's also a scroll. It's not a very big scroll, but it's definitely a magic scroll of some type. And you find uh, a whole bunch of smaller gems. There's an Azurite. And there is a Carnelian. Yay. And an Obsidian. You find a little brightly colored shell. Now, there's also one potion in the, uh, in the chest in one corner. Uh, it's... Slightly smaller than your smallest size of healing potion. Sorry, and what, it, what was that again? A little vial. A little potion, a little vial with a, well, it almost looks like it's captured starlight inside. It's definitely a liquid, but it swirls around and sparkles. You find a second scroll, and this scroll appears to have some type of cloud uh, as an illustration on the scroll itself. I would like to try to identify all of them that we don't know what they are. Now that we're back up on the ground with That's you right. guys. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for not Wonderful. dying underground, which is my my dear, deepest fear. When you're looking at them, um, the potion, the potion has a very pleasant, smell to it when you when you pull the cork off just to give it a little sniff it's a very nice smell very wholesome smell you feel very good afterwards uh and you put the cork back on the top of it we're willingly You're... sniffing an open vial of mystery <laughs> that's substance right. Ooh, that's good stuff <laughs> and then uh it looks to you like it's pretty obvious that the scroll of the person laying down is clearly a scroll of sleep i was thinking that it possibly would be you do not find anything magical at all about the silver comb or the hand mirror they just appear to be beautiful little items little treasures little. same with all of the gems uh as far as the rest of the uh things uh the scroll with the cloud on it uh could be either a scroll of obscuring mist or a scroll of poison mist or a scroll of uh, some kind of mist and that's all you are able to figure out at this time. My suggestion is that we leave this box with its contents. What about the owl scroll? Scroll with the owl? You don't know what it is. Oh, okay. 
um, something to do with an owl. Of this, I'm, I'm, I surmise that it belongs to our friend here, and when we get her to safety and she starts recovering, uh, then we can give her all the items Right, back. these things are not, they, they don't belong to us, they belong to our... Um... And if we want to get the fairy on our side... We need to treat them well. Yes. Right. So as I was saying, where does it seem that the uh, the freshest air is coming from? I think we should go in that direction. Kind of get out of the smoke and into... Well, are there any trees that one could climb and get established uh, if there's anything in the distance? Uh, just like I the burned out image burnt, shows yeah. you, pretty much everything is the same. There's just this, this brownish gray pall of smoke, just like it shows there uh and you can't see visibility because of all of the ash that's in the air mm. visibility is limited in any direction uh at the most it's about 100 150 feet tops you can't see any direction you don't know uh beyond that any direction there doesn't seem to be a lot of wind pushing through and moving anything anywhere it's all just sitting there you are in a dead forest how far away are we from the portal that we came through. Well, you had followed a bit of a lane south, uh, and that lane kind of turned into this little dirty waterway that came to where you discovered this little uh, trapped fey person. So you know, because of your tracking, Percy and Josephine have no problem following the path you came down back north. You could even see your prints in the ash still. Well, what I wonder is what's in the direction of the path. If we go further, will we find more or should we go back and try to go the other direction? Let's brainstorm. Um, out of all the places that we've visited, do we know where we can get a healer for this lovely young lady? Yeah, that's my thought is that we may have a better chance of healing her if we take her to a different place than this. We could take her back to the wizard's mansion. We don't know how to get to the wizard's mansion. We don't have a clue. You guys ruined my fantasies about reuniting with Bear. It's fine. Or, it's fine. We know. Or, guys, what about we go to the northern reach of the elven glade to try the right. other entrance yes which yes wasn't on which fire. was not on mm -hmm. fire mm -hmm. and possibly would allow us to get closer to the fae and hopefully get her the medicine that she may right. need because it might be specific yeah. to her so we kind. will we will keep her box intact <laughs> can't believe i said that you said it and sugar saw I, it i said it and and we will keep it with us because we were taking her to her rescue so we'll just put the whole thing intact inside the bag of holding yes Pretty we will keep um, her we will keep her box safe once once we get into a place with, with better air <sighs> um we might try putting the potion under her nose and we'll see if that regenerates her somewhat yeah i'm all for getting back to the pinnacle mm. um getting back to the uh the room with all the, the, the little fires, the thought, portals, the, things, the hall the of things. fires, fires yes. yeah. the, the, the hall of fires. Yeah. I'm not a genius. I'm just a really good Mark's one. Mark's woman. <laughs> I was going to say marksman, but yeah. Um, yes. Let's, let's get back there. I'm, I'm se severely concerned for this woman because she is, like literally dying as she's like on my shoulder. So well, I want to get gets too critically injured uh, to the point where she is near death. Somebody has a spell for that. Oh, well, I was going to say if she gets like all the way dead, we could always eat her. But that's just I'm joking, joking. So I, I just I've never I haven't tasted elf before. <laughs> I was kind of curious and what it would taste one. like. But you know, there's you, <laughs> something that you need to understand about this world in your discussions, and especially when you were at the rendezvous talking to people, uh, you got a real sense that what they had to say about the Fae was that the Fae were made up of a whole bunch of different races. They're generally referred to as the Fae, but within the Fae, you very much got the elves, and then you have many of the other what are called the little people or the wee folk. 
The wee folk tend to make up all of the other different magical species. Uh, and you don't know uh, much of the history of why the wee folk are with the elves. Uh, the queen of the fae is uh, an elf, elf and queen. Tanya. But um, most of the wee folk apparently are refugees. That the they have been... They have been, they've joined the Fae, but they have been rescued by the Fae Queen from somewhere where something has happened far away across the sea. And they now live here in the Fae Wood uh, as their place of refuge. And this is something that's happened more than one generation before uh, this current generation. Uh, the oldest of them remembers it, but. I remember you telling us this not at Rendezvous, but before Rendezvous, when we were still with the tribe, um, before we left to go, like when we were still in the desert, um, we got a background a little bit about the Fae. Okay, good. That good. was a long time ago. That's what you know. All right. So, so yeah, these are this one that you have found and rescued is one of the wee folk. So it occurred to me that if we take a wee folk to this um, golden... Um, you know she's a pixie, clearly. Okay, so we take this pixie to this, you know, cave of um, of, of um, different locations. She'll probably freak out because she probably has never seen anything like it. She's unconscious. She has been for and a while And she's a magical now. creature. Okay, just say it. Like, when she wakes up, she might be unnerved. Well, well I mean, it, no matter where we go, if it's she's on the back of her. one of us, she's going to be unnerved when she wakes up. No, there yeah. is that. Like, let's get her to safety. Okay. It, that's so that's my opinion. So the consensus is we're going back to the pinnacle? Let's go back to the Hall of uh, Flames and try the northern uh, entry to the Elven Wood. Okay. We shouldn't have to but, climb the pinnacle to get to the northern, though. We should just get close and, and see that it's not burned. Right, hmm? we, sh we shouldn't. Well, we shouldn't have to climb all the way up to see that the northern side isn't burned. When They're talking about like, going up the like, pinnacle, like going, the, up, the, going the through the, the portal to the Hall of Fires, and going to Verdantis. Oh. Verdantis. That's what they're talking about. Okay. That's what we're talking about. I misunderstood. Okay, now you know. All right. Okay. Is that so, what you're so, going to do? So is the consensus, um, shall we take a vote? My vote is to yes. Um, I got this little lady on my back, and I'm That's willing good. to just like trek up that mountain to get back in there to get her somewhere safe, personally. So that's my vote. That's my vote as well. I vote to go to Verdantis. All right. Sure. Okay. All right. So you head off back north the way you came. It's uh, You don't really need to search for the trail. It's very obvious from your footsteps in all of the burned ash that the the way you have come uh you're on that trail for about 20 minutes when uh you notice a, a set of tracks cross your own at a horizontal uh angle kind of well not quite 90 degrees there's uh more than one set of tracks that what kind of crosses tracks your own uh you want to try and examine the tracks i do Yes, Percy let's ask the and tracker. well, you too. You're a good tracker as well. Yeah. Oh, 17. No problem. So, uh, 17 plus 10, so 27. They are humanoid feet. They're fairly narrow. Mm -hmm. uh, they're leaving quite a light impression. Mm -hmm. And it looks to you like there is a half a dozen of them at least. There's at least six different sets of tracks. They are wearing not shod shoes as you have seen before but they are wearing some type of um homemade leather footwear okay and uh they seem to have a fairly long stride but a very very light track so so you would tell from your expertise uh that uh they are not we folk that they are at least a medium size obviously humanoids uh, with a, a fairly lengthy stride, not quite as long as your stride, Percy, but uh, longer than um, uh, Josephine's. With the the delicate footprint, I would assume that they're elves. It's quite a quite a narrow thing, and uh, pardon me. How fresh are the tracks? Mm -hmm. They are fresher than yours are. We just came down an hour ago. Yeah. 
So what's the, what do you guys think? Should we follow these obviously elven footprints? So we've got this dying woman. Mm. Do we want to chase after them and see if they can help? Or do we want to go back through the pinnacle and see if we into an unknown realm mm. and take our chances there? I think that um, the people who made these tracks have a greater chance of knowing their local neighbors. I agree. I agree. Um, as long as they're not an evil force, we should we should be okay. If they're evil, we'll just kill them. Do we want to be stealthy about looking for them? Uh, I can do that. I don't. I don't think we need Actually, to. I'm kind of thinking from a totally different, opposite direction. Instead of stealthy, I think we should call out to them and let them know. We're trying to find you. We know that you're here. Could you please come and help us? We'll see what happens. Or there could be warriors out to kill us. Yeah. While Lavinia yells things into the wilderness, I, well, I haven't to cradle the. I haven't oh. yelled anything yet. I'm just asking you guys. Do you think we? How about dying pixie? <laughs> Yeah, we'll just sick the bird okay, on. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna just I, I go think, after them without making any attempt at stealth. I think we, yeah, we should follow after them. I don't stealth or no stealth, regardless, we need to go in the direction where people can help her because we don't know how to. Okay. Okay. All right. I have invisibility sphere. That's why I'm asking. Ooh. So we could like vanish, which would well, there might be stealthy. some benefit to that. But we also would reappear in the middle of their town or wherever. We we can yes, I can and make it go them away. And they'd probably shoot us. So. It only lasts ten minutes though. Okay. Well, we don't know how far their establishment is. So well, I rolled an eighteen. If if I go off ahead. Okay, well, that's no. the, yeah. You could go off ahead and scout ahead of us. It's not a bad idea. And we'll follow Don't behind. Be as close far as we away can. from us. No, I won't. Yeah. I won't go far. No, he's, he's holding your hand. Come married. on, you two are inseparable now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean in terms of says the weird tiger yes. who put on the mask. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so is that what we're doing then? You're leading the way. We're following the tracks. Yeah. And we're we're trying to be as creepy as possible. Fifty feet behind you. That's not too hard, is it? Yeah. Yes. So you are following mm-hmm. the tracks, the new tracks that you found? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think you should uh, roll for your stealth and for your following. D20. Yep. All of you. Mm-hmm. you lose it for a Looks pretty good. I got a 17. So not sure what we're adding to it. 12 plus whatever. It's 17. I'm okay. Twenty-one. Um, we're still going to use the current current map that we have. Please give me Mr. Elephant is that is on it. Perception check. All that I want Stealth. from you Stealth. guys Stealth. is to. I'm going to get rid of this elephant. Hold on here. Let me delete him. You Can you guys just uh, let's assume that you are headed uh, back the way you came, which is towards Percy and uh, yeah, up there that way. That's fine. That's the way you came back towards Thaddeus and Percy. Put yourselves in the line of uh, marching order, please. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good putting a little good little uh You didn't notice that? Yeah, I've been dealing with other stuff. Okay. So head I'm carrying it looks to me back. like Thaddeus is in front. Is that correct? Yep. And then right behind him is Percy and Raven. Bringing up the e- rear is Josephine carrying uh, you're a little pixie girl and um, Lavinia. You are rolling, and what did you roll? Um, I rolled a 24, checking for traps along the way. As you follow uh, the uh, trail, it's not very hard to follow because just like you, they clearly are leaving imprints in the ash as they go along. Um it is 10.38. We're going to wrap it up in a couple of minutes, probably 5, 10 minutes. As you are moving along, um, the first three people in the group, Thaddeus, Percy, and Raven, roll reflex. Okay. 
23. All right. 19. 19. Uh, 26. Uh, one of the things that you notice, and you're able to leap out of the way to save yourselves, but all of a sudden, up out of the ashy ground, all of a sudden these vines appear. They come up and they try and grab your feet mm. and anchor you in place. We've got a druid in there. Then as you uh, look up, uh, you discover... As if out of nowhere, they have just materialized right in front of you. Roll for oh, initiative. Goodness. Oh, no. No. You give them the adventure speed. Oh, you did good. Okay. Roll for initiative, boys and girls. Undead elves. Yeah, I was going to say, huh? Uh, didn't want them. We wanted the nice elves. I rolled the four I got last. Thank you. <sighs> So make sure you know what your totals are. I'm going to have to change the screen from the adventure screen mm -hmm. back to Foundry to be able to put your information in. I think I'm just going to put it in a quick little uh, note first. Why don't we do that? We'll just hold on. Let me just grab a little bit of note. Next time we come back on. Okay, I'll accept that. Oh, that way you get a better initiative. I, got a great <laughs> no, no, I, I don't mind going last. I actually don't mind going last when it comes to... Uh, I'll give you guys the choice. Do you want to do a new initiative next time or keep these initiatives? Doesn't matter. I, don't I like mine, but mine's okay. okay. I'm fine either way. Okay, we're going to go around the table. Raven. I got um, 28. 28. Josephine. Including my bonus, it's a total of 14. 14. Lavinia. Including my bonus, it's a total of 13. 13. Yeah, what did I do? Hold on. I just... Let's do this. Kind of ugly looking. Lavinia. They're terrible looking. Percy. 19. You were a 13, right, Lavinia? Percy, 19, and Thaddeus. 14. Wow, you guys didn't roll real high this time. <laughs> Twinsies. <clears throat> okay, we are going to call it there because uh, we don't want to start a new big encounter where you're doing whatever you're going to do with these guys. Uh, I give you time to think about strategies for next week. Two things that you've got now for homework. One of them is strategies of how you're going to deal with this party of elves that you've been confronted with. Clearly not living elves. They used to be living elves. The other thing is your ancestry feats and your other things and your attributes. Where do you want to put points? Uh, my suggestion would be to you that whatever your key ability is, get it to four. And then put points in other things like constitution or intelligence or charisma, whatever. But so, well, if, if your key attribute was dexterity, get it to four. If it was intelligence, get it to four. I, I know that Raven already did that kind of thing. Uh, so whatever your key attribute is, get it up to four. Then put your points elsewhere until the next round, next uh, time when you're level 10 and you can add more attributes. Okay. Thank you very much, so guys. My dexterity was already at four. Can so I add more to it? Not that. Uh, yeah, if you're already at four, I don't see why you couldn't put two points into it, right? Will you let us do that? I thought we could only. Well, the old rules were you can only increase it by one point if it was already at 18. But with the new stuff, I don't let know. Let me it research it and I will try and have an answer for you. I, I'm Not that I wanted my dexterity, but, but I, I see that I'm already at four for that, yeah, for example. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, well, can I go above that? I'll, I'll go find out and see. The reason that they start to penalize you when you get too many points in one attribute over other ones is so that you don't become a ridiculously lopsided character, right? They want you to be somewhat balanced as a character. Any other questions? Uh, we've got uh, some compliments on the undead elves there, Dave. Oh, so Croatian says that the undead elves look dope. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, yes, thank you guys for coming and hanging with us. Thank um, you so, so much. This story tends to move slow. I know that. 
But besides watching us live, you can also come and just check things out on uh, YouTube is probably the best. I'm going to be putting the finished videos up on YouTube, Rumble, that kind of thing. And there you can see a cleaner version of the story that moves a little quicker because that's what those videos focus on. They focus on the story first and then our banter second uh, to get an idea of where we're going. And also, if you'd like background on our story and what's happening, we will continue to try and add to that on our website and also our YouTube videos. We will try next week to do a video that is two game sessions and one backstory session so that we cover some of the backstory of what happened after you left the Anasi uh, when you'd been with them in the desert and you headed east in your first attempt to get to the Fae. I bet people Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, thanks very much. Excellent job. I was going to say, I, was, I bet people will be thrilled to um, see us when we were duck hunting and... Uh, <laughs> oh, what was the other one? The other game oh, that we yeah, played? the other game that we played. Uh, I wish we had video of this. It was like it was like a target shoot. Yeah, it was just like a pew, pew uh, game. then there was yeah, I think there terrible. was uh, it was terrible. It was, <laughs> I'll try and, we all did so awfully. Primitive. I'll try and find a few of those too and we can look yeah, at them yeah, again yeah, real yeah. quick. Because that was fun. Have to share the links with the people at home and see how well they do. Yeah. yeah. You did pretty damn good. Who which one of it was one of you two did really she did good. The best. I'm the well, sharpshooter. There you go. She That's right. That's right. I, I did okay, but she did the best. Okay. That's it. Thanks very much, folks. Here, Thank let, you let so me have the driver. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is everybody at home? Can I have the parrot? Yes. Yeah. And off we go. We're going to move off to thanks for watching. Oh, you want to do something first? Okay. Good night to Sugarberries. Good night to Pyro. Good night to Power. Good night to Bree. Good night to Bree. Good night to ZZ. Good night to Zed Zed. Good night to Luscious Beard. To... Luscious Beard. Luscious Beard. Oh, and uh, good night. I know she's not on the. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know she's not on the on the chat, but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Nina. Nina. Okay. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's so much fun.